So this question is a simplify question. Simplify questions are typically short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and will always contain either an equation, like what we have here, or an expression. So why do I call these simplify questions? I call them simplify questions because if you can recognize it really quickly, you don't really have to read, right? So the fact is, I haven't read this out loud. I haven't read this before starting this video. You get to watch how I think about these in real time. I see it, I identify it as simplify. Because I've identified it as simplify, I go straight to simplifying the equation provided. And to do that, I'm gonna add nine to both sides. So I have absolute value, 15 minus X is equal to nine. I now know how to uh, simplify an absolute value equation. This turns into two separate equations. The first one being 15 minus x equals nine, which just looks exactly how this equation looks, just removal of the absolute value symbol. And here I'd have 15 minus x equals negative nine, right? So removing the absolute value symbol, but then changing the sign of the answer. This will always happen, by the way, whenever you're solving an absolute value equation. So now I solve these two equations separately, to do so, I subtract 15 from both sides here, and I'm left with negative x is equal to negative 6, and therefore positive x is equal to positive 6. So that's one solution. And then here the same thing, subtract 15 on both sides. That's gone. I'm left with negative x is equal to negative 24, which means positive x is equal to positive 24. So that's my second solution. So now I look at the question, what are the possible solutions to the given equation? Well, I've already done that through simplification. I'm looking for positive 6 and positive 24, and that is choice 